there, it's Ru here. Today is going to be a video covering the tourists and the hotel. We're going to be doing a quick comparison of the tourists versus the investors on population and income. We're going to be going over their needs and how you, they are fulfilled. There's going to be a brief overview on the debuff system. There will be later videos going into more details on how you can actually work for and against this and how you can manipulate it. But this is more of an overview so you can understand them better. So the first thing we'll do is have a look at the investors versus the tourists, which is better for population and which is better for income. So the first thing we have to understand is the hotels themselves can have 500 people and up to $8,525 income. And they cannot be boosted via items or cultural set pieces at all. Whereas an investor can have starting at 50 housing size and $870 income when everything gets fulfilled. You can boost that up to any sort of value up to 90 people in a house and depending on what items you're using you can boost the income quite a lot so there's going to be two sets of numbers here so the first thing we need to understand is via a population size the tourist hotel is 63 tiles 500 people can bring in 7.93 people per tile and an income of 135 dollars 0.29 per tile so the investors which is on a nine tile system as it's a three by three unupgraded would bring in 5.5 people per tile and 96.6 dollars so unupgraded the tourists outperform the investors however if you have a lot of buffs and high bonuses to the actual investors like my current setup over here, we have over here, we can get up to 90 people if you wanted to. If you had up to 90 people, you would have 10 people per tile on here versus the tourists of 7.93, so that's an upgrade. And my current balance on my islands for my current investors, I could bring in $164.35 versus the... 135 and you could boost that way higher with certain other books and other set pieces so unupgraded tourists are better for income and population however if you have the right town hall and cultural set pieces the investors will way outperform the tourists so the first thing we need to understand is the tourists are their own form of workforce and it is not shared via the commuter peer system the tourists will only stay on the individual island and you can have up to 500 people which contributes to 500 workforce and that workforce is utilized in the amenities like the restaurants and the cafes and the iron tower now to reach the 500 people here we have to fulfill each of these requirements in their needs as a regular resident however the difference between the regular and the tourist is each of these requirements can actually contribute to income as well. So you're going to be boosting out the number of population and your actual income. Now for the actual needs, one of the most important ones here, which is quite easy to do as well, if you have a look at all these numbers here. The shampoo is a really, really powerful one for boosting the number of people you actually have in the tourist hotels. It's 105 tourists for fulfilling that requirement which is way more than any of the other ones. The next thing we have a look at is the happiness screen. And this is broken into two sections. We have the main items, which are very easy and base item sets. So you'll only need the base version of the game to do these, like the fur coats, the rings, and the lemonade and the souvenirs. And then on the side, we have the optionals. Now these will be whether they are cultural sets as part of the base game or they will be part of DLCs like the zoo is base game, the museum is base game and the world fair is base game. Whereas the palace, the botanical and docklands are all DLCs. So these are optionals. And if you have a look at this, we're getting three happiness and 300 and odd dollars per, which is a reduced amount versus the amount of income and happiness that you can get from the base versions of the game so that's how they're balancing it 
these base versions of the game requirements for the happiness are more powerful than the DLC. So it just gives you an option to boost it even higher, but they won't be as powerful as the base versions of the game. Sticking with the happiness side of things, if we have a look here, my current tourist hotel is extremely happy because as you can see, there is a lot of things that can boost up happiness. So we have plus 54 on the happiness here. Now, as there are a lot of options here for increasing the happiness, if we're not fulfilling those requirements, there can be a stark difference in the actual happiness. So we've gone from 54 down to negative five because of a multitude of different things here. Now, the only difference between the DLC requirements and the base version of the games for the happiness is if you have a look here, the fur coats, if you don't fulfill them, it gives a negative three on the happiness. And these are all base parts of the game. Negative three. However, the DLC options like Docklands, if you're not fulfilling it, it is zero happiness. So you're not going to get a detractor for not having the DLC enabled and the DLC actually built up at the present time. So if you have the DLC enabled but not built, you're not going to have a negative detractor. However, base versions of the or base items, you are going to have a negative detractor. As you can see, if we don't fulfill the requirements, the actual building as regular items will actually de destroy themselves. So the next thing we'll do is the public service buildings and the bus system very briefly. So how this works is the hotels have requirements on their needs. And for the needs for the public moorings, the variety theatres and the restaurants and cafes and all the cultural set pieces, they need to have the tourist hotels connected to the individual buildings via a bus network. So we have the green bar on the road where we have bus stations dotted around the whole island, which is basically the overall linking of the whole network. However, that doesn't mean the range on, say, a variety theatre over here will cover all the way to there. And the variety theatre has to be in range of a bus stop, which is indicated on the blue circle here. So the connected buildings need to be inside of a blue circle of a bus station and the green on the road is the overall network however that doesn't signify like the strength that that variety theater from here will actually expand across the whole road network to expand on this further if we have a look at this hotel here as you can see we have the public mooring down here which is in range we have the variety theater which is in range which is over here and we have access to the pubs and bars and stuff like that and they have access to the cultural set pieces here now if we have a look at this one over here as we can see here the needs the variety theater and the cafe and the restaurants have actually dropped distinctly down because the closest one is all the way down here however there is some form of coverage but you will not be getting the boosts from the cafes and restaurants like the consumption reduction and the happiness boosts and stuff like that. But they will get their requirements fulfilled to some extent over here. Now, where things vary is in regards to certain structures. Now, as you can see here, there are buildings that have no range. As long as there is one on the island and it is connected via a bus network, it is just full coverage no matter where it's placed like the public mooring or the tourist mooring the iron tower the docklands the sea to power palace and the world's fair they are all globally full 100 percent as long as there's one on the island the cultural set pieces and the variety theater and the pub excuse me the cafe the restaurant and the bars all have a range that extends out from the building to the actual hotel connected. Now for context, if we have a look at the size of the Cape and where the buildings here for the variety and the cafe and the restaurant and the bar are, which are over here, and it has to travel all the way along here, that's a really long distance that it has to cover for their requirements. 
and this distance is dropped it down to about 50 percent so as you can see they do have a coverage range quite far they do have a drop off range of uh, a quote short distance for some of the cultural set pieces like if we have a look here the i have a mini set of the cultural set pieces here and they are full here and they drop off down to 99 percent here which you're going to be losing one happiness from that sort of distance here and there's no way of boosting this out any further technically there is one or two little things you can try to maximize the actual range but you can't increase the range you can move the block of range slightly depending on where the bus stop is but we'll cover that in a future video but as you can see they do have quite a drop off from that one percent of happiness but if we have a look over here this i don't understand I haven't figured this bit out it seems to drop off completely about on this distance but as you can see the museum has dropped down to 78 percent here and we're down to one happiness but we're still making a lot of money from them it's just we are losing some of the happiness over here so as you can see over here we're down to 46 happiness which is still a lot of happiness and we've gone from 500 coverage down to 408 from that distance from the amenities down here so you do lose some but it's not a massive drop the only thing you're gonna be lacking on is the actual if you have regular housing around here the restaurants and the cafes over here do have a range of their boosts which is quite far and you can stack them and overlap them so it's not a drastic drop off it just requires you to uh, place them strategically the last thing we'll cover off very briefly there will be a more in-depth video covering it is debuffs so if we have a look at this test island over here we can see here we have our islands over here and even though there is full amount of bread in storage and they have a variety theatre next to them they're not going to full capacity here because they have a happiness or attractiveness debuff so up here we can see we have debuffs up here all needs reduced by 10 percent and the variety theater and iron tower are being reduced as well by 20 percent so even though we have full coverage technically the soft cap has been reduced because of these items so now the tourists that we're getting from the variety theater which should be 25 because it's next to it because we haven't hit certain requirements that is soft locked us down to 17 tourists and 157 dollars and the same for the bread and the restaurant if we had it up and running as well and this would apply for all of the needs requirements over here i say there will be a video covering on this to explain exactly where the unlocks are and what it does and stuff like that but this is just a very brief overview if you do see these requirements all lines here and everything's covered it's because you have the debuffs up here and you need to improve the network or attractiveness or happiness on the island hopefully you enjoyed this overview of the tourist and the hotel systems and some of their requirements if you did i do appreciate any subscriptions to the channel and any likes on the video and comment down below if there's any video you'd like me to cover off next stay safe and i'll catch you on the next one